to London Irish versus Bath from the rack in the West Country. Scrum down. The two front rows engage and Hodgson feeds the scrum and Luguisamon picks up quickly and goes to the line. Has he got the gas? He's over the line. Has he grabbed the ball? He has. London Irish have the early score through Juan Luguisamon with just five minutes on the clock. The big Argentinian powers, picks up and powers over into the corner. It's a try for London Irish. It's Bath nil. London Irish five. Text, Paddy, text, a textbook try off the, off, off the back of the scrum. Really great, uh, good, good drive from yeah, good, good shove by by Irish to start with. Just just forced Bath back and then um, Juan Manuel picked up at the back of the scrum and had enough space on his right to power over and touch down on, on the, in the right in the right corner. The scrum cleanly and again we see a little grubber kick this time from Stevenson the full back and it's a, a clever bit of play actually because he's taken well, he's found touch. Just good. short of the halfway. Good, good kick by Stevenson. Well, taken oh, quickly oh, oh. by Dan Armitage. It's Topsy Ojo. And Topsy Ojo, well, with a bit of space. This is extraordinary play from Anton Irish. They're really having a go. And Topsy Ojo. Oh, he's through. He's through a tackle. And he steps past the pullback. And he's going to run to the line. What a try from oh, Topsy what Ojo. What a try. Remarkable try. What a try. Well, that's better even than Franze's try, I have oh, to say. What he's a taken try. It inside the halfway. He's pirouetted through two tackles. Suddenly burst through. Nimble feet. And he was away. And he scored. And Absolutely magnificent try. It's absolutely extraordinary. That 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 uh, from a quick from a quick line out over on the left hand side, ball was past the topsy and he ran from just inside the Irish half all the way through a tackle after tackle and the bat flankers now will be looking at themselves saying wondering what was going on there and he, he just found the gap shrugged off the last tackle on the 22 and had a clear run through to touch down just over on the left hand side of the post fantastic try and a lovely sidestep as well he got this he was going something he had a good head of steam and he still had mike stevenson the fullback to beat but he just stepped past him no problem and over he goes what a try from topsy ojo 29 minutes on the clock and london irish will extend their lead it's london irish 10 bar three and Ricky Flutie has a kick. He's taken it back to the uh, 22. It's just to the left of the post. So Topsy Ojo really ought to be converting this one. But, uh, well, as I say, I think it's safe to say... Brilliant, br brilliant individual try. You don't yeah. you don't see them any better than that. Uh, season so far. Just, just, I, know, uh, I said that after Fronzo's try, but that was even better. That was a magnificent try. Uh, Flutie strikes the ball, left-footed. And uh, has he made this one? Yes. 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 Price go up. Yeah. So London Irish good, have good. building themselves a very healthy lead. With 29 minutes now gone, it's London Irish 12, Bath 3. This game is a perfect view we have here at this line out now, so just right below us. Let me see now. Nears throwing, he's got Borswick, of course, and Grucock to aim for. Where is he going to go? They go to the front, and easy as you like, Grucock rises and takes that one, unchallenged by London Irish. So, Bath with some possession, they're trying to get the rolling mall going. Olivia Manu just standing off to the left of it, and London Irish are edging them towards the touchline. So, Bath just needs to take this in. You see Lee Mears, the hooker at the back of that, is controlling it. He's got the ball tucked under his arm, they've broken away and go right this time. It's, uh, oh, look at that, Manu look at that by Manu. Three of them back. Mears takes it on again though, and he's tackled by Danny Kutzer. Now they move it right through the backs, so they have to go, because they're having no joy, and Maddock up on the line. He, well, he's battering, barraging his way, but Niels Moore just about holds on to him. Right, they go through David Bory, the winger, left winger, has found himself on the uh, away, acting as fly half now on the right-hand side, but it's scrappy. This is, this is great pressure by Irish. This is great pressure by the Irish defence. Very good defence at the moment. You can see they're up very, very flat all the time. Back it goes to the left. Malone with a long pass, missing out the first runner, finding Alex Crockett. It's inside centre instead, it's outside centre rather. It is tackled and the scrum half Walsh, who's had a good first half. He goes yeah, on the sliding run. There's a the 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 right hand flank down the blind side. Bory's still over there, but he's tackled well by Mike Katz. Doing some fine work in the tackle. Katz, there's a bit of a gap on the right hand side, though, they think. Bath, that's the way they're going down the narrow side again. But Tangy back about. I don't know why they think they are. Uh, Opportunities there now. They keep attacking that right wing, but it's not working for the moment. Duncan Bell with a bit of space. The prop forward finds him up, finds himself at inside centre and drives through. Nice side step from the prop, but he's lost it. He's knocked it on in the tackle. And now London Irish have some space. Dan Armitage with a gap. Armitage could be well. Oh, Dylan. Dan Armitage is going to score a magnificent try. Off he goes all the way. Armitage from miles out. He runs and runs and scores under the post. Wonderful try again from London Irish. They turn the ball over. And there was a whisper last week that London Irish couldn't play in the backs. That's another try for on their backs. It's the fullback this time. Denham Arms as he's run some 60 metres. Quick turn over ball. Away he went. And it's London Irish 17, Bath 6.
Paddy, what's going on out there? I don't know. Did you, and did you see who made the play, who gave him the pass? It Fran Rautenbach gave him the scoring pass. Rautenbach, turnover. A turnover ball. Away. Rautenbach acting as scrum half. Pass to Armitage. And off he went again. 60 meter run. And had the pace to... to, to, uh, to the, they just couldn't catch him. It, it, it was wonderful to see. He really um, did turn on the afterburners. Just for a second I was worried that he wouldn't have the legs. But, well, I was really rather badly wrong with that one because he just pulled away roared away and it's 17-6 the wreck crowd are stunned here we're uh, two minutes to go before half time and london irish have played some fantastic rugby this afternoon ricky flutie with the conversion right under the post so it will surely be 19-6 very very shortly over it goes 19-6 it is indeed two minutes to go before half time Paddy. Yes, it could not have gone better. This the, the, the conversion couldn't have been easy for, for Ricky there. D Dylan did his job brilliantly, touching down under the post and makes makes the kicker's job um, just that bit easier. Takes the pressure off him. So uh, the two extra points added there, and, and what a what a what a, a situation for London Irish. To be. Yeah, Eleven league visits that uh, London Irish might, dare I say it, we might get a, a, a premiership win at, 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 at the recreation ground oh, anyway a long, way to, long way to go having seen what happened last night when uh, sale came back and scored three tries three tries in three minutes of injury time so well mike cats clears from inside his own 22 from the restart but it doesn't find touch stevenson is the fullback for bath who gathers and well he kicked, passes on to pricker well she goes for the gary and the up and under and it's missed by everyone hobson was there but he allows it to bounce rather foolishly and joe maddock with a bit of space in the right hand wing feeds on to the center Taken forward by Alex Crockett's down the right-hand side, but he's to his stop now. Inside London Irish territory, slow ball this time for Malone. Malone spins it left, up in the line is uh, and Danny Grucock driving forward, sets it up, and again they attack down the left through Mears. Meads pops on and it's set by Topsy Ojo, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is another try for London Irish. Topsy Ojo just trots home and up with the post, and they've got the bonus point before half-time. There's another try for Topsy Ojo, and I can't believe what's going on here at the moment at the wreck. London Irish move yet further away. London Irish 24, Bath 6. Thanks to that try from Topsy Ojo, intercepting, trotting home under the post. And at the moment, this is a walkover for London Irish. Extraordinary stuff. Ojo was completely unstoppable from there. He's uh, very, very quick, Topsy Ojo. Just easy as you like, intercepted that. Little pop pass, and away he went. And Bath do not know what's going on. The Bath crowd have fallen silent. It's the last kick of the, the, of the half, this I should say. Right under the post again. Flutie with yet another very, very straightforward conversion. There's naught on the clock, so this will be half time. And it's 24 6 to London Irish. Extraordinary stuff here. I expect it to be such a tight game. Flutie slams it through the middle, and that is half time. 26 6. A 20 point lead for London Irish. I really expected this to be a tight game. See with me, Graham McCackney, and. Uh... Paddy Lennon alongside me. Another no. scrum for London Irish. Now have a bit of a drive on. Phil Murphy decides to go and edge forward towards the line, but he gets nowhere, so he goes to the back. Slow ball. Mike Cap, end of centre. Tries to step through the tackle. Very nearly does. Good tackle by Maddox, though. Has he turned the ball over as well? No. London Irish holds on. Dawson with a pull-up pass out to the wing. And takes and it the for his first try for London Irish. Try for London Irish. Tangi Sakabo with a lovely take. Great pass from Kieran Dawson. Straight into his midriff. And Tangi Sakabo raced over the line, just swerving in field to make sure he kept his feet inside. And over he goes, and it's a try. What a try for London Irish, and what a time to score the try, Paddy. Well, they had the patience, Graham. That was the good thing about that. I'm, 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 I'm impressed with that. That, that. that took patience, and it took skill, and, and all credit for Mike Cappy made the first drive towards the, the line. And uh, Willis was in as quick as that. anything. Once uh, Mike went to ground, recycled the ball, and uh, and then moved it out left to Taki Taki Bar, who had the power to withstand the final. He had that swerve was yes. important as well, wasn't Absolutely. he? That's Stan Field yeah. and Lovely. Dan Arms is just hobbling off another injury for London Irish. They're getting a bit stretched down below us on the bench. So I'll bring you up to date with that in a moment. In the meantime, Ricky Flutie with this conversion, way out here on the left-hand touchline. 31-21, that's London Irish's lead now with nine minutes left on the clock. How have they stemmed the tide? Have they turned the tide, I should say? Wave after wave of Bath attack. And now London Irish with Ricky Flutie, a chance to extend the lead to 12. Flutie takes his time over these kicks. Be a good one to get. Just in from the left-hand touchline. Strikes it. He's got it, I think. I think he's nailed it. It's gone straight through the middle. What a kick from Ricky Flutie. What an important kick. Fantastic. 12 points 
the lead. That could be decisive, but there's still a that's, long way to go. Eight minutes left, according to the stage, stadium clock. London kick. Irish lead 33 21. Could, and be, it's could, be, be, could be the decisive kick of the game. Oh, that one, what actually. A Brilliant kick. Brilliant kick by, um, by Flutie.